Leibniz Integral, Leibniz Theorem. The Leibniz Theorem is something with the parameters. Say you have a function to integrate f but has a parameter t, and also boundary has parameter t. So how do you take a derivative by t uh, after you take integral? It turned out that you can take an integral before uh, you can take a derivative before integral, but you need to have the boundary derivative. This boundary is a function of t. Okay, so this is uh, the Leibniz integral basic formula. And what is good about the the, the best place you see this uh, formula is used is the derivation of Lorentz force. Now, you have a Maxwell's uh, equation. Maxwell's equation, the magnetic field uh, generate electric field. Okay, so say you have the ring of wire and magnetic field change by time then it's generate electric field but that's only this part round B round T equals rotation E right okay well we ignore this part what is this part is suppose B is fixed but this boundary the ring of the conductor move around then what's happened is still generated electrical field and this part show that boundary movement so electric field is generated by either magnetic field change over time or boundary move within the uh, magnetic field so this is a complete equation for magnetic field and electric field interaction and what what is Lorentz force. The Lorentz force is the electric field generated by the movement of boundary. So the Lorentz force is basically electron move within the uh, magnetic field and generate electrical field. That electrical field, electrical field and the charge interact to generate a force. That's the Lorentz force. So there's n there's no such a thing that electrical field directly generate force by the magnetic force. The electric field move within the magnetic field and generate electric field. The electric field and the charge interact by Coulomb's law. And that's the force generated. So this Lorentz force is significant in the physics. We get into that in, maybe in the physics section. Now uh, application of Leibniz theorem is not only a uh, derivation of Lorentz force, it can simplify a lot of complex integral. As you know integral, integration is a challenge for many uh, function. How do you get the integral performed? Okay, Lorentz, uh, not Lorentz, Leibniz uh, integration help often. Okay, now when A and B, this boundary is constant. So we get simplified 
Leibniz integral. So what what it is is suppose this integral function. After you get the integral, you have to take a derivatives on t parameter. But turned out we can take a derivative uh, by t before integral. So sometimes this function depend on functions uh, uh, formula the expression you take integral first then it simplify a lot so you get the uh, integral much easier after you get the integral what you get is derivative of t you take integral on t again to get the original integral this this portion okay and this will be possible often when we have a fixed boundary so let's look at uh, derivation the spelling wrong here derivation of uh, Rowland's force is actually you take any vector potential this integral of vector potential will be partial derivatives of a plus v <coughs> this is uh, this is boundary boundary is moving so moving speed is v divergent a minus curl and now the divergent b if we replace a with b magnetic divergent is zero we know that so what happens is the integration surface st is moving at the speed v the we have only two term here this is a maxwell equation and if we if we examine this time variant of the magnetic field there are two parts the magnetic field changing by itself over the time okay so that's the time variant portion and boundary this one is moving so this is the moving effect is going to be the line integral of the boundary movement multiplied by magnetic field so what's happened here is you get this portion generating electrical field so when the electrical field the charge move in in the field there is a two part of force is direct force from the elect existing electrical field plus the the electric field generated by magnetic field and this portion is called Rowland's force okay now how can we simplify the complex integral suppose we have to take this kind of integral and this is like it's almost impossible unless you use a, a infinite series approach or something like that okay suppose this is f alpha and we take a derivative with respect to alpha so this one comes in then it simplify so much so the fa is we take an integral on alpha, uh, alpha here we recover f alpha but you have a constant but constant is determined by original f0 if it's f0 this is 0 so it's 0 it's going to be 0 okay so therefore f alpha is log 1 plus alpha so imagine this integral is very easily uh, calculated using Leibniz uh, integral formula so 
this is the second uh, application of Leibniz theorem. Okay. I hope you enjoyed listening this video. We have other videos, please check it out. If you like, click subscribe.